Let's consider you are ready to go for a short trip on a straight road. Initially you are at rest. After 30 seconds your velocity reached to 10 meter per second. After 60 seconds your velocity reached to 20 meter per second and then until 150 seconds you kept uniform velocity of 20 meter per second. At 150 seconds you applied the brake and your car stopped at 180 seconds. Now this data can be plotted as velocity time graph in a Cartesian coordinate system. The time is on the x axis and velocity is on the y axis. Now from this data we will measure the initial acceleration or the acceleration during which the velocity reached from 0 to 20 meter per second. The final acceleration which is actually the deacceleration because of which your car stopped. And the total distance which you have traveled during your journey. Now using this velocity time graph we will first determine the initial acceleration. The initial acceleration is the acceleration because of which the velocity increased from 0 to 20 meter per second. And the time taken during which the velocity increased from 0 to 20 meter per second is 60 seconds. So we know that acceleration is equal to del V divided by del T. Now del V is Vf minus Vi or final velocity minus initial velocity. The final velocity here is equal to 20 meter per second and the initial velocity was 0 meter per second. So 20 minus 0 divided by 60 minus 0. This is the duration of time. The duration of time is from 0 to 60 seconds. So 20 divided by 60 we have 1 over 3 and 1 over 3 is equal to 0 0.33. So the initial acceleration is 0 0.33 meter per second square. Now the acceleration in this region, this blue region, the acceleration is zero because there is no change in the velocity of the uh, vehicle. If there is no change in the velocity, it means that the velocity is uniform and there is no acceleration. This is Vf minus Vi will be equal to 0 and substituting the value for del V and del T will also be equal to 0 because 0 divided by anything is equal to 0. So the acceleration in this blue region is equal to 0. Now we will determine the deacceleration or the final acceleration. The final acceleration is the acceleration because of which the velocity of the vehicle approached to 0 or dropped to 0. When you applied the brake, your car stopped at 180 seconds and you applied the brakes at 150. So the final acceleration or the deacceleration will be equal to del V divided by del T. For del V here we know that the initial velocity is 20 meter per second. The velocity in this region is equal to 20 meter per second while the velocity finally at 180 seconds is equal to 0. So the change in the velocity will be final velocity which is 0 minus initial velocity which is 20. So 0 minus 20 divided by 180 minus 150 is the time taken the change in the time or the time during which the vehicle deaccelerated. So we will have minus 20 divided by 30. And minus 20 divided by 30 is equal to minus 2 by 3 which is equal to minus 0 0.67. So the final acceleration or the deacceleration is equal to minus 0 0.67 meter per second. And this minus sign means that the vehicle is deaccelerating mean its velocity is decreasing. Now from this velocity time graph we will determine the total distance traveled. An area under the VT curve, the VT graph curve is equal to distance traveled. So we will calculate this area 
this area for calculating the total distance traveled and for calculating this total area we will divide this whole area into three regions this region 1 this is region 2 and this is region 3 so the total area of this curve will be equal to s or the total distance travel is equal to a1 plus a2 plus a3 a1 is the area of this triangle the area of this cube and the area of this triangle we know that the area of a triangle is equal to a multiplied by b divided by 1 over 2 so 1 over 2 a multiplied by b will be the area of this first triangle the area of cube we know is equal to b multiply c or length multiply by weight multiplying this length with the weight will give us the area of the cube and again this last one is a triangle having side b and d multiplying b with d and divided by 2 will give us this a3 area so the distance total distance traveled will be equal to s is equal to 1 over 2 a multiply by b plus b multiply by c plus 1 over 2 b multiply by d now we will substitute the values for a b c and d in this equation the value of a is this is site a which is 60 seconds so 60 multiplied by b is equal to 20 so 60 multiplied by 20 divided by 2 will give us the area of this region now the second area is in cubic form and we know that b here is given as or 20 b is the vertical axis which is equal to 20 0 to 20 and this horizontal axis is from 60 to 150 which is equal to 90 so 90 multiplied by 20 will give us the area of this cubic structure for this third region we will have 1 over 2 multiplied by 20 20 is the this b side of this triangle and 180 minus 150 is 30 so this, uh, this horizontal axis of this triangle is 30 so we will have 20 multiplied by 30 now solving this equation are multiplying 60 with 20 dividing by 2 plus 20 multiplied by 90 plus 1 over 2 multiplied by 20 multiplied by 30 we will get total distance traveled is equal to 600 plus 1800 plus 300 which is equal to 2700 meter and in kilometer form this is equal to 2.7 kilometer so the total distance traveled which we have calculated from the velocity time graph is equal to 2.7 kilometer that's it thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe easy video for more videos